Okay, here you can see my blue tiger shrimp um, that I had delivered today. Um, there's about 20 um, in here all together. What I've done is open the bag and poured the bag and its contents into a container. Um, and what I'll do is I'll add water every 10 minutes from um, the tank they're going into. Um, about 10% every 10 minutes, that's, that's what I tend to go for, for about an hour. Um, after an hour, I'll scoop the shrimp out and put them into the tank, um, but not pour in any of the water in. Um, you can see all the, the crap um, and th that arrived with the shrimp, um, where they've molted um, and obviously their feces, and I don't want that going into the tank. Um, you'll, you'll throw the balance of the tank completely out of you pour if you just pour that straight in, and you could affect anything else you've got into in the tank there. Um, as I say, after about an hour, I'll scoop them out, put them into the tank, um, and then keep an eye on them. Occasionally you do get the odd loss, um, which can't be helped, um, but fingers crossed all of these will be fine. Uh, there's a, a few in here that are about two centimetres, um, and the others are around about 1.5, something like that, uh, but they're getting a lovely blue hue to them. Uh, so obviously as they age they're going to come up lovely actually you can see a couple of the bigger ones on the top uh, and they've got a lovely blue colour to them um, and fingers crossed I can get these breeding um, and start sharing them out with other people in the hobby um, they are very well packaged um, when you transport sh uh, shrimp you should always put a bit of moss or um, some plant in there for them to cling on to um, which you can see um, in the video here that came with uh, the shrimp. This is the shrimp tank they're going to be going into. Um, at the moment there's a, a couple of Amano in there, a couple of Ottos and uh, I think there's one cherry but I'm going to be taking the cherry out. Um, so in about an hour's time I'll put them in the tank and then uh, I'll add on a little bit of video showing them in there. Okay it's now time to add the shrimp to the tank. So uh, all I do is scoop up some shrimp. Now you have to be really careful um, that they don't jump out. So as soon as you get them into the net, get your hand over the top and you can lower them down. Just turn the net inside out gently. Make sure there's none still on there. go back for some more. Obviously you don't want to be picking up the crap in there as well so you only want to try and hook shrimp if possible. And again hand over the top into the water. Make sure all the shrimp are off the net. I think there's only a couple more in here now. Yeah, two more shrimp to go. Just make sure that net is clear. Let's have a look. See if we can see them in the tank. There you go. Straight in there. Having a good clean.
So that's the easy way um, to add shrimp to your tank. Um, you'll get more of a survival rate if you uh, do it gradually like that. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm so excited with having all these uh, new fish and shrimp and I'll, uh, I'll keep everyone updated on how things are going. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye.